Hello, I'd like to meditate with you today. Today's meditation will be on painting a picture. Let's paint and meditate. You can meditate anywhere, anytime, on anything. All you have to do is bring your awareness to the present moment. Awareness. Awareness. Awareness is the knowingness. The knowingness. The knowingness. The knowingness. The thing in your mind that knows what you're doing, saying, thinking, or feeling at any given moment. At any given moment. At any given moment. So to meditate, <sighs> just recognize your awareness in the present moment. <laughs> So we can bring our awareness to the present moment while we paint. I'm gonna use these colors that I've picked out already. I've got gold, I've got blue, I've got red, purplish, and yellow. And I'm gonna paint without any expectation, without any direction other than just the moment, being present being present with the paint, being present with my canvas, and being present with my sensations, emotions, thoughts, feelings, anything that goes on in the present moment as I paint. I'll be inspired by the present moment. So, I'll look at the gold. I think I want to start with gold. And I'll just dip my paint knife. I like to use a knife. This is my favorite knife. And I'll just start. Bring my awareness to anything that I do on the canvas. So for some reason I want to do a giant golden X. I don't know. There's no reason, there's no point. Next I'm going to mix the purple and gold and just kind of bring it around here. Scrape it off and watch it mix together. It looks shiny, it's very shiny. And I like that. So I'll notice that like sensation. And I'll notice any sensations that come and go as I paint. Now I've got this going on and I want to mix this lighter blue that I have with the darker purpley blue. I guess it's kind of more of a blue color. And I'll just let that kind of express itself on the canvas, using the paint to inspire the next stroke of paint. I'll be doing kind of an X over here. And maybe wiping off my knife if I feel like I'm done with the paint that's on it for the color. And just notice the sensations of wiping off the knife, noticing, looking at my palette again, and again, deciding. What do I want to do? What do I want to paint? And knowing that the worst that can happen is that I don't like. And the best thing I can, that can happen is you do like. So just notice that and bring your awareness back to the paint color, the yellow. Wow, that's a fantastic yellow. I just love that. And I'll just notice that. Notice how my painting is kind of coming together in some weird way. And, or notice if your painting isn't. If you're saying, oh, I don't like, I, oh, I hate, or 
oh, I'm terrible, or I'm not an artist, or whatever you want to talk about in your mind. Just notice. I notice I get all sorts of chaotic sort of um, conversations in my mind, dialogues that go on and on, or monologues, or whatever you want to call them, that can be negative. But I'll just notice them and notice anything else that goes on in my mind as I continue this painting and be inspired by that. If your mind is chaotic, make a chaotic painting. And with that in mind, my mind is a bit chaotic, so I will, I think, make a chaotic painting. As it gets a bit more chaotic, I'll notice that as the colors kind of mix together in a more haphazard way. I'll notice that. And I think I'm ready for some red. Wipe off my knife. Look at my paints. And notice the red. Notice if it mixes with any of the colors around. Notice if you choose red or another color. And try not to judge yourself. If you chose a different color than me, that's okay. If you chose the same color than me as me, that's okay. Or if you're just watching for fun, that's okay too. So, just notice whatever's going on in your awareness. I'm going to mix this dark color again with some of this red. I'll bring it up here. I really love how it just gets very dramatic. I find drama is always in my paintings, it feels like. So, maybe I'm a dramatic person. Hmm. And just notice any choices you make that you like or don't like. If you like the choices you make, great. If you don't like the choices you make, great. <laughs> as long as you're aware, present, then you're meditating. So I'm aware that I'm liking this. I think there's a like involved. I think I need to whoa, add some more of this dark color that I've mixed with yellow. We'll make the green, and I'll just spread that around the bottom here. There's some chaotic outline of the canvas sort of thing. And there's no real reason I choose any of these strokes. I, it's all about I like or I don't like, and the feeling sensation in my body that says this is what to do even if it's wrong like I don't know what I did here this is a bit odd and that's okay I can scrape off some of the paint the worst that can happen is that you waste some paint or you waste even a canvas I'll paint over a canvas I don't like so and more often than not, I like most of what I do on a canvas. But sometimes it can get a bit out of hand, and I'll just paint over it. 
I really like this dark blue. So I'll put that on there with some of this lighter blue. Oops. And then make this more of a blue corner. I think I want to add more chaos. It's too friendly. <laughs> My mind is quite chaotic lately. Sometimes I just like to get all the paint so it's really mixed and just go across. That's kind of interesting. Let me go down this way. And again, just notice if you like or don't like what you're doing. Sometimes you get lost in it and you're like, oh, what is this? And that's okay. Oh, see, that's a more interesting. There we go. And now I'm liking it. It's interesting. It's something and I'll just notice that I think I might be done I used up all the paint on my palette which is very satisfying <laughs> and for a moment I'll just sit and be present with the painting notice parts that I like parts that I don't like parts that make me feel something energy Chaos. Just the colors speak for themselves in a way. And that's how you meditate on painting. Just gonna check it out. Whoops. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, <clears throat> that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come back for more. Have an awesome day. Bye.